Well, in that way, then, if some fellow felt that his uh, health, uh, bill of health was fairly clean, he could uh, go to his agent and uh, submit on a trial basis. That's right. Uh-huh. Then we'd have a whole new act, you know, and we could really look into yes, it. Yes, you could scan it then according to your own underwriting information. That's right. Uh-huh. Well, that sounds like that would work out pretty good, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, with these supplies, we sent a memo out which sort of gives a brief outline of the selective and it tells you where you can find everything in the new rate section about it. And I think you can use some pointers from that in your memo to the agents, I imagine. Yes. It might help you there. Point yes. Point out a few the important pages and changes, you know. Yes, well, we can point out the high spots then. Otherwise, we thought maybe we had to give them a complete cover on the, when we just got this part. We didn't know just uh, where to go on it. Yeah. Well, I sure don't know why that hasn't gotten there yet. Yeah. My golly, that's sure funny. Well, we'll hold this all up then uh, till the other arrives, and if it doesn't get in here in a couple of days, why, we'll uh, let you know, so... Yeah, we'll send out some more then. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the meantime, of course, uh, uh, you find out how it was shipped, so... Okay. We, we'd know on that. Yeah. They, they might have sent it by a uh, truck, although it's a little doubtful. Wouldn't think so. They don't do that usually. No, they don't usually, unless it's uh, awfully bulky. I don't think they ever sent rates out that way, though, so... Uh, it'd be a big package, I imagine. Yeah, it'd be pretty good size. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, Jim. Well, thanks for calling. Please. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Uh, both Cliff and I will be down. Oh, fine. And uh, so we'll have a chance to perhaps go over some of these things a little, but we wanted to get it caught up to date if we possibly could before we left. Now, Leroy was going to write you another letter. Oh. And what he wants to do with the different states is if you'll let us know what type of plan you'd like to set up that the agent would be using. Oh, what type of what? A plan that you'll set up under this selective. You know, we think that probably after an agent chooses that, well, he'll go out there and quote a certain amount of coverages each time. You know, he'll pick out a plan that he might. Oh, yes, I, I see. What do you think uh, would fit our uh, situation? There's the, out there. The selective package that would uh, be the, we think, would be the most popular. Yeah, and if you would uh, pick out about four or five that you'd like, well, we'll, we'll print them up in the rate, on rate pages, so the agent will have it all ready for him. Oh, yes. So he yeah. might be thinking of that, too, Paul, because that would oh. be a big help to the agent. Then. Yes. Well, this way he has to go from page to page, I suppose. That's right. Oh, that, yes. That'll be a nuisance. Oh, that's a terrible nuisance. It is in the auto, and I tried to get them to combine that rate sheet, but uh -huh. I'll stick with it. I might get it someday. <laughs> yeah. There she goes, though. Okay, Jim, is there anything else new? No, that's about it, by golly. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see you then. We'll see you next week. You bet. Thanks Bye. for calling. Bye. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four on a new du jour Grundig with the all new apparatus except but using the old earphone on it. <laughs>